Welcome back to another part of my home office tour. This time I want to share with you my desk and how I have organized it. I have shared my trip to IKEA with all of you about a year ago when I chose this LX table, which is the perfect length for my needs and for this space. And I got this chair from IKEA as well. I find this chair very comfortable and that is important as I often sit here for long hours. I love the black accent because it adds some effect to the marble and white aesthetic of this area as well. Now, a few months ago, I also asked all of you for recommendations on which computer to buy. Most of you suggested that I get the iMac. I did, and I could not be happier. It's such a user-friendly interface, and honestly, there is no going back for me. As for the rest of the desk, I have kept the decor simple, as very often, B and I sit here and work on something, especially on our upcoming new 2021 planner, which we are doing together. And over on this side, I have a small gold vase with some faux flowers and this beautiful gold organizer. The top is lifted for access to my mile liners, which I keep here as I use these very regularly. These beads actually come with the organizer. Then I have a few washi tapes, which I use for my planner. I love adding decor to my planner as I find it very therapeutic and I love pretty things. And behind that are some keys on a keychain. Below that is this drawer with a crystal knob and in here I just keep a small stapler and some spare blades for my pen knife. I absolutely fell for this box and I think it attracts just the right amount of attention here. And in the center, instead of using a mouse pad, I'm using this marble print desk mat. I prefer having this mat so when B and I are working together, we can both use the mouse during our discussions. It also protects my table from scratches and stains. Moving over to the other side, I have piled up my modem, router and hard drive and hidden them behind the monitor. I have added this gold planter with a plant inside. And I got this from Dylas Home as well. And here is the third flamingo from the set on my bookcase. And then I have my Mrs. Mug which I mainly use to keep hydrated, just ice water for me. I have placed the mug on this marble and gold coaster, which I will not leave you the link to, as it has gotten discolored very fast. I have shared a pin from Pinterest with you on Facebook, on one of my, you know, favorite desk decor sort of posts, but I have not been able to get those gorgeous flowers for my wall. So I got this decal to add some interest to the empty space. Now this comes in three pieces so you can create your own style. Next come these two shelves, which are actually photo ledges from Ikea, which I have had from before. And on the top one, I have a small pink clock. And on this side, I have a clapper that B made for me. I also have this vase with a potos plant, which I'm hoping will soon cascade downwards. And this vase is so pretty and easily refillable as well. And the white and gold add to the theme of this area. Now on the lower ledge, I have my pencils that actually have the days of the week printed on. The weekend pencils are gray, the weekdays ones are pink, and I just like the, I just like the look of it. And next to that is my battery operated pencil sharpener. It was just too cute and it was pink and I just had to buy it. This is an IKEA frame and I have just used it to frame a weekly to-do list. I find it very convenient to write quick notes on the glass with a Sharpie and then I can just wipe it off when I'm done. So I can use this week after week to help me stay on track with my appointments. On this empty wall, I have added the same frame in a larger size. This is just a print from the internet that struck me as perfect for this space. The watercolor background matches my file covers the flowers match the decal perfectly and the pink is in the style of this area. So I feel it just pulls the whole place together very, very well. And now let's move on to the drawers where most of the organizing actually happens. I have two drawers and this one is for my stationery. I have used these clear acrylic containers to keep everything neat. A place for everything and everything in its place. I ordered two sets of these containers online and I'm very happy with the quality of the product. 
So I have my Sharpies in here, and this is my correction tape, and then at the back I have my gold clamps. Back here is my thick black Sharpie and some hand sanitizer, gold paper clips, and some marble clamps. We use gold clamps and marble clamps for different purposes. I have my daily use pens and my mechanical pencil in here. My reliable hole punch and a large stapler along with a few rulers and some staples as well. These are just my glue sticks and erasers. I love writing in pencil and I do a lot of writing and erasing while organizing my thoughts. So I go through these pretty fast. And in this large container, I have my name card sleeves and a large pair of scissors. Over the last few days, I have been sealing the holes in the packs with these plugs for a cleaner look. It's just a matter of plugging these in and then using a craft hammer and a piece of paper to protect the wood. You just need to gently tighten each one. And that pretty much sums this drawer up. The next drawer is my craft drawer. I basically have lots of embellishments in here for my smash book. I love adding flowers, lots of variety, and then icons, dates I want to highlight, words on these super cute speech bubbles, and also frames to the pictures in my entries. I also have some post-it type captions I use as markers to certain entries, and I have them big and small. I have my washi tape organized by color in these containers. I also have some liquid glue to stick these in. Another thing in here is my chalk. I have both powdered chalk and liquid chalk pens here. Now these are for writing on the chalkboard labels I showed you last week. These are all items that I use almost daily, so I keep them right at my desk. So that, my loves, is how I have organized my desk. I work from here a few hours daily, and I wanted this space to be pretty and feminine. It is nowhere near done. I want to maximize the usage of this area, and therefore I have added another table for editorial purposes. My older son, B, and an intern I have just hired will be able to use that table to work alongside with me. I will share that with you once it's done. In case you're wondering why I don't have a printer, it is hidden away in this space under the staircase along with the project materials we need to store. And I have shown this in a previous video on Facebook so you can check that out. So my loves, this is how I have organized my home office. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying, stay inspired, happy homemaking.